Hello guys, in the last video we have discussed about the reasons to buy the Lenovo P2 smartphone. No doubt that Lenovo is really very good phone available at low price range. But no phone can be perfect, right? There are few demerits of Lenovo smartphone that I am going to discuss in this video. But that changes does not affect the merits of this smartphone. Every person have their own choice while buying the phone. So it depends upon person to person whether these points really affect them or not. Let's get you aware about all those demerits that Lenovo should try to remove in the next series of smartphone. Let's first discuss about the image clarity of the phone with its 13 megapixel camera. Undeniably, the P2 can click detailed macros in well-lit situations, but landscapes appeared somewhat average. Details were passable, but noise is apparent at the corners of the image. Another problem is about the image taken in low light. Yes guys, in low light, the images are not that much clear. The P2 can take decent low light shots if there are light sources around. Without any light source, the shots get very 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 much grainy as you can see in the image. We also found that P2 was often unable to focus on subjects in low light, which is disappointing. The camera was able to reproduce accurate colors only with photos taken in conditions where there was a good amount of light. So at the end, the conclusion is, it does not work well in low light condition. Next con is about the video stabilization which is neither have OAS, which is optical image stabilization, nor EAS, electronic image stabilization. No doubt, the auto focusing speed, color representation and clarity are all good. But the lack of image stabilization is a real deal breaker. If you are a person who records videos quite often through smartphones, then I would suggest you to choose a different smartphone. But from the still image point of view, it has a very good camera. Another Lenovo P2 cons or disadvantages is the inability to record videos in 4K resolution with the primary camera. Snapdragon 625 is a very powerful chipset and it can easily handle the process 4K resolution videos. On other devices camera, 4K is supported even at lower price tag smartphones. The other cons or problems is with the type of USB connector that is very well popular among people. Means it does not have the USB type C reversible connector. It comes with a regular micro USB. The difference can be experienced when transferring files from a computer. The type C is ridiculously faster than the micro USB it should have come with a device and others are providing even at a low cost like Leiko LE2. No Gorilla Glass protection is available in this phone. Viewing angles are decent and color reproduction is adequate. There is a 2.5 degree curved glass covering the display. However, we were disappointed that there is no scratch protection. And we noticed minor nicks on the glass during our review. It should have come with the glass protection as others are providing even at a low cost like Leiko LE2. Let's move to the design which is not a big issue but it's a personal choice of liking the design. The design of the P2 does have a flaw or two. One thing that I don't like about the phone is its fingerprint sensor which seems to be an exact copy of what is there in the Moto G4 Plus. Although this is understandable because the G4 Plus is a Lenovo designed phone but the front fingerprint scanner on the G4 Plus look out of place and it looks the same on the P2. Performance wise, the fingerprint scanner on P2 is fine. It's fast and precise. But its position I don't like. So guys, these are the cons we have observed in the Lenovo P2 smartphone. As I told earlier, that can be ignored if a person care about only battery and not crazy about the camera. But for camera lovers, it could be little disappointing. I hope you would like the video and please don't forget to share and click on like button thank you